something incredible here on the inside. Hi everyone, I'm Sam Squires. Welcome to Surfing Australia TV. Now take a seat, sit back and relax because we've got an awesome show for you ahead. Let's take a look at what's to come. We chat with six time world champ Stephanie Gilmore in Hawaii. All the action from the country's best juniors, big wave surfing at its most brutal best. And we'll let you in on some board design secrets. First up, and junior surfing in Australia is riding high thanks to the Subway Surf Series. So let's head to Cronulla for the final event of the National Series. I love coming back to these events. It's uh, all these competitors I've grown up with, you know, surfing at the uh, Oki Grand Comp, and um, yeah, now we're all a bit older now surfing in these uh, pro juniors. I think Subway is an awesome sponsor for a pro junior event like this, you know. They keep us young ones healthy with all the food and stuff. That cheesecake cookie is the best. <laughs> Yeah, it was really good that Billabong and Subway made this series. It's super cool to see all the young Australians come through and such a big event. The conditions were really tricky, really small, but just had to grovel it out. And my best friend was in the final with me, so that's really cool. It's an unreal feeling, can't really describe it. The haka on the beach is very special. Yeah, I'm grateful to have um, such an awesome uh, cultural background and um, such a strong family support. To uh, actually win it is, uh, yeah, it's just a super unreal feeling. That's my biggest goal, to win the overall series and get a couple of wins under my belt. So yeah, accomplished that and I'm stoked. <laughs> You can find out more about these fantastic series at surfingaustralia.com. Now as we head to the break, soak up some of the poundings that are all part of the Milwaukee Heavy Duty Impact Series. Welcome back. Well, some of the best juniors in Australia headed to Coffs Harbour for the Billabong Osgrom Cup, and we were there to catch some cracking beach break conditions. Hi everyone, welcome on to Coffs Harbour for event number three on the Billabong Bloodline series. This is the Billabong Oz Grom Cup for 2016. This place is renowned for good waves and it's going to deliver, so let's check out the action now.
Well, junior surfing in Australia at the moment is going through a real big cycle. There's so many fresh faces coming through the scene and uh, here at Coffs Harbour, we're really showcasing some of the future stars of surfing. It's really interesting to see those kids develop and make their way through the uh, pathway to the podium that Surfing Australia has set up for them. Yeah, I did a couple of big backhand snaps. It was really fun. Billabong, Osgrum Cups, you! It's a great comp for little kids, for big kids, to get better at their surfing, maybe come pro um, one day, and this is the pathway to it. Good to be a part of this comp and watch all, all the younger generations come up and train so hard and, and surf so well and I'm stoked to be a part of that and show them maybe some ways to do it. We couldn't wipe the smiles off all the happy kids' faces when the Surf Alive project teamed up with Macquarie Sports and put them through a week big surf prom session at Greenmount Beach on the Gold Coast. Let's check it out. Macquarie Sports is part of the Macquarie Group Foundation, which is the bank's philanthropic arm, and we're all about providing sporting opportunities for children in communities around Australia. For them to experience a sport that, that is hard and not accessible to a lot of them, it's an amazing experience. It really opened my eyes. I mean, this is something that I take for granted every single day. It's such a passion of mine, and to be able to share it with these kids is, is insane, and to see the joy that it brings them. because I got to go a bit further out the back. To get involved with surfing, which is such an emerging sport, was um, a really unique opportunity and also to work with the Aunties and Uncles program, something that we found really attractive. Aunties and Uncles is a children's mentoring program. We um, have children in the program aged from 1 to 11 and most of those children are from socially isolated families. Most of those families are single parent families. Seeing confidence grow more and more where you spend time at the beach. First off, she was scared to go in the water so much and then we would go swimming in together and we'd build up the confidence and go collecting shells. I love surfing and I want to keep doing it for my whole life. Once you master the board, you just glide over the water. It feels so good once you've done that. It was really good. Made some a whole lot of new friends, yeah. These kids don't even have to get up and they're smiling and laughing and having so much fun. It's so beautiful and, and such a good thing for them to have the opportunity. It's been really rewarding and I know that I'll look back on this as a really memorable experience. on this great program or to make a donation head to surferlife.com.au well stick around because coming up after the break we have six time world champ stephanie gilmore at waimea bay Welcome back. Well, from the design right through to the composition, surfboards are complex pieces of equipment. And we're about to go behind the curtain with FCS and break down the latest in surfboard technology with shapers Matt Biolis and Dan McDonald. I first got involved with Carbon Wrap when we moved our Australian operations up from Sydney to the Gold Coast a few years ago. We settled in here at the DMS factory. We had Dan cutting and 
helping me finish shape all the lost boards. And I couldn't help but notice these unique looking boards floating around his factory. I fell in love instantly. In its simplest terms, carbon wrap is a stringerless EPS core. And instead of having a wood stringer down the center for the stiffness and rigidity, we're using these dual bands of carbon. And the bands are structurally positioned so that they're close together in the nose. And as they splay wider towards the tail, they actually become more flexible. And this wrap is what basically creates a bit of a hinge and it loads up and springs under your body weight. Probably the main reason why I started flaring the carbon out, I found that a few other constructions that I was playing around with were losing a lot off the top. By wrapping it around onto the deck, when you're going from rail to rail, the pressure is allowing the tail to flex, but it wants to snap back. So as you sort of move your weight from rail to rail between that transition, the tail's sort of working a bit like a fish tail in a way. We're working with the athletes, we're working with the pros, but the greatest response and the biggest stoker about it is that the average guys who are jumping on these boards and they're feeling light and lively and fun and, and, and just another way to make surfing bitching, you know? There's plenty more coming up, but as we head to the break, check out this great vision from the team at MySurf TV. It looks plenty. Oh, look at everyone down there. It looks bigger than that. Holy All right, man. Welcome back to Surfing Australia TV. Well, Waimea Bay on the North Shore of Hawaii is one of the most iconic waves on the planet. And when it gets big, it's massive. Let's join six-time world champ Stephanie Gilmore as she hits the lineup.
see the coastline of the North Shore. And yeah, it's like going back into the 70s. Everything is really rustic and country. And uh, everything's like old school diners and, and weird quirky little shops. It's awesome. It's, a, it's, you know, it's fantastic to photograph. Nikon 1 J5, pretty much the go-to camera for me at the moment. An incredibly clear LCD screen, everything's touchscreen. It also amazingly is a macro lens. You can get the most amazing quality images, things that are so tight, so up close. Usually adapter here to be able to change and, and add different lenses to it is really cool. The ocean here in Hawaii will change in a matter of hours. The anticipation is incredible. It runs through your entire body. There's no other place in the world like it. The swell grows, it's terrifying. Seeing the swell really large in the morning is a pretty scary feeling, especially when you know you're about to jump onto some jet skis to shoot photographs. To be out there at Waimea, I mean, the history of it, the energy of the, the place is insane. The fact that there's Basically, Waimea Valley, and then everything just gets channeled right out into the break at Waimea Bay. It's a really cool feeling to be out there. Nerve wracking as well, because you're just waiting to see the horizon disappear and the big waves come and like all these hell men just charging into these waves and women as well. It was cool to see girls out in the lineup. Waimea is a very, very special place and it was pretty cool to go out there and, and to be able to shoot it. And you can see that it's the anticipation of what is around the corner, what set is about to come. And I love that. So there's a couple I turned into black and white. There was these girls out there and there was guys out there and everyone's just, you know, charging these waves and I thought, man, I need to get out there and actually have a go myself. Super cool. I've never ridden a board that big before, that style of a gun. To be on the North Shore and be completely immersed in all of the, these ocean activities is a really cool feeling and makes me feel at home. And to be able to then mix that back with my creative passion of taking photographs, it's just, you know, it's such a cool place to be able to do both of these things and, and really be excited about what lies ahead and to know that every single day you're going to get something different. You'll be able to capture something different and you'll, you may even walk away ticking a goal that you've always wanted to do, like surfing Waimea. Finally, we're back with the team from My Surf TV who go to all corners to capture the best surfing action. Let's check it out.
You can watch more amazing footage just like that and plenty more at mysurf.tv. Well, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Just remember, if you need any more information on anything that you've seen today, you can check out surfingaustralia.com or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Sam Squires. Thanks for your company. We'll see you next time. Need to do something incredible here on the inside.